Exactly two months after Harvey, Channel 2 News investigates is tracking how the American Red Cross is spending hundreds of millions of dollars donated to storm victims. Last month, we asked the Red Cross CEO to share specifics on how that money is being spent. Tonight, investigator Mario Diaz is live near the Red Cross headquarters in Upper Kirby with some of those answers. Mario. Andy, a number of questions surrounding the Red Cross and the money trail. We reached out to the organization at its national headquarters earlier this week asking for some specifics, and they said it was challenging to provide complete details on certain things like how much does a cot cost, a bed, or a blanket, or even food, because you have to factor in donations into some of those items. But they did provide us with a number of interesting numbers, including how much they are holding on to for the future. I, I asked, ma'am, are you willing to open up your books? Because right now, ma'am, bureau from check. Yes, yes. This was Red Cross CEO Gail McGovern in an interview with Channel 2 Investigates on September 25th. Nearly one month later, we circled back with the organization regarding how much money has been spent, including specific breakdowns. The Red Cross tells Channel 2 Investigates they estimate they will spend $42.3 million on food, shelter, and relief items for Harvey victims. When I can't get out of bed, then that's it. <laughs> All of this while Houstonians like Joe Reyes are still waiting for $400 in relief funds promised weeks ago. It's a whole lot of money to me. I'm not rich. The Red Cross admits to raising more than $350 million in Harvey donations. Channel 2 investigates specifically asked how much has been spent in Houston. A spokeswoman says they do not break down their figures city by city. What we do know is that the Red Cross, according to their financials, is holding on to $106 million, which is 30% for long-term recovery programs. However, it is the lack of answers regarding the recovery assistance in the short term that is challenging for Reyes. You've been waiting on the Red Cross without any answers. Have you ever thought about just giving up? I want to, but I just have hope. Hope is all I have. If I don't have hope, I don't have nothing else. And a number of people have reached out to Channel 2 here in recent weeks with regards to the challenge in, challenges involving the Red Cross and attaining that $400 in a relief money. Coming up at 6, you're going to hear more about Joe's story and how many times he's been told he has the money, but yet no check in his bank account. Reporting live, Napa Kirby, Mario Diaz, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Our hearts go out to him. Mario, thank you.